Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing prenatal bedtime yoga. Of course you can do this at any time, whether you're preparing for a nap or you just want to relax, but it's great before bedtime. We're gonna activate the parasympathetic nervous system or our relaxation response. This is also great for fighting pregnancy insomnia. You don't need any equipment except for a comfortable floor or mat to get down on. And for extra relaxation, you could grab an eye pillow, a blanket, a couple of pillows, or a block. Each week, I will keep creating new prenatal yoga, Pilates, and HIIT workouts. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start in any comfortable seated position. You could be in a cross-legged position. You can sit on a block or a bolster or be right on the ground. You can also come to your knees if that's more comfortable. I'm going to take a pillow or a block, place it underneath me, and sit on my knees. Let's start with some gentle neck circles, rolling side to side. Starting to take some deeper breaths as well. Let's bring our head back up again. Let's roll our shoulders. Go in the other direction. Good. Sitting tall. We can take one hand out to the side. Reach up and over, ballooning out through your side ribs. Deep breath in. Exhale out. On an exhale, engaging your core, coming on up, switching to the other side, reaching up and over, deep breaths. Exhale, coming up, Let's give our shoulders a little bit of a massage. We can open up through the chest now. I'm gonna to turn to the side here. You can clasp your elbows or clasp your hands behind, reaching your hands down if your hands are clasped, keeping your ribs pulled in to protect your core, pulling your baby in. You can lift your chest, reaching your hands or your elbows away, looking up. Chin is reaching up. Taking a couple of breaths here. Releasing out. Let's clasp our hands in front, push our hands away, and round out through our upper back the other way. Good. Releasing out. Let's move to butterfly pose here or Baddha Konasana, letting your knees flop out. Sitting tall, taking a deep breath. If it feels good, you can also give your feet a little massage here. Pull back on your toes. Sit up tall again, and if it feels good, hinging at your hips, slightly fold forward, opening up through your hips. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your pelvic floor. Inhale, coming up. Let's extend our right leg. We can square our hips towards our front leg, 
flexing your front foot. Let's reach up and hinge at the hips, reaching forward, pressing the back of your leg into the ground. Lots of length in the back of your neck, so you're gazing at your big toe. Inhale, coming up. Let's switch to the other side. Squaring your hips, finding length. Inhale, up. And then reaching your hands and the top of your head towards the top corner of the room, flexing your extended leg. Pressing the back of your knee into the ground. Beautiful. Coming up. Let's come on to our knees now. We can round out for cat position. Inhale, tilt your tailbone up, look up. Exhale, pull in your baby, round out, especially for your lower back. If it feels good, you can wiggle back and forth here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round out one last time. Coming to a neutral spine, let's take some hip circles. Switching directions. Let's take our knees wide apart here. We can move back into child's pose, making lots of room for your belly. Let's walk our hands out, finding length in our spine. Rolling your shoulders down your back. Lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. Spreading your fingers, pressing your palms into the ground. Feeling your forehead on the ground. Pressure stimulates relaxation. Let's bring our head up and we can walk our hands to one side, stretching out through your ribs, making room for baby. When you're ready, you can walk your hands to the other side. Deep breath into your side body. Exhale out. Walking back to center, we can walk our hands back in, shifting back to all fours, tucking your toes. We're going to press into downward dog. If this is hard on your wrists, you can also stay down on your forearms. Pedaling out your feet. Feel free to take any movement that feels good. You can shift your hips back and forth. Tucking your chin, looking up at your belly, spreading your toes and fingers. Heels are reaching down towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they touch. Tailbone lifting up into the air. Almost as if you're trying to arch your back slightly. 
but center one foot and we can spread our toes on the backs of our heel here to really stretch out through the calf. It's gonna help prevent leg cramps at night. Let's lift that top leg up in the air. We can open up our hip and bend our knee. Beautiful. Bringing it back down. Switching to the other side. Doing a little stretch through the backs of our leg. Engaging your core and letting that back leg float up into the air. Bringing it back down again. Let's bring our feet wider apart, a slight bend in our knees, and let's take tiny steps all the way towards the top of our mat. Feet are wide apart, making lots of room for baby. Let's hang here. Shaking her head no. If it feels good, you can put a little bit of pressure on your head with your hands. And then let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Let's step back, bringing our hips towards the front of the room now, moving into warrior two. Feeling a nice stretch through your groin. You can gaze out over your middle finger, rolling your shoulders down your back, sinking a little bit deeper. Pressing into your front foot. Let's come up. We can bring our stance in a little bit. Pigeon toe our back foot. Moving into Trikonasana or triangle. Reaching towards the front. Dropping your bottom hand in front of your leg. And then reaching up. Your shoulders are stacked over top of your front leg. Spreading your toes. Slight tuck in your chin for length in the back of your spine. Exhale, coming up. Turning our feet around to the other side and widen your stance a little bit for warrior two. Breathe here. Using the strength of your front leg, pressing back. We'll bring our back foot in a little bit. Trikonasana. Pulling your baby in. You can gaze forward or if you can, up at your top hand. Legs are activated. Exhale, coming up. And let's step together. We're gonna to do a quad stretch or you can do a dancer's pose. So let's find our balance on one foot. We can grab our other ankle. You can also hold onto a chair or a wall here. Let's bring one arm up towards the top corner of the room. And you can stay here or if it feels good, you can press your back ankle into your hand and then slightly tip forward. Let's keep length in our spine, pull our baby in so we're not stretching through our stomach. We wanna protect our core. So the flexibility is coming from our hip. Beautiful. Let's tilt back up. Release, we can find the balance on the other side. 
grabbing your other ankle. Opposite hand goes up. Feel free to stay here or tip forward. Keeping your ribs and your baby pulled in. Coming up. Beautiful release. Let's circle our ankles and then we can get down and grab a sip of water. Let's come on to our knees here. We're gonna open up for a modified camel. So we can take our hands to our low back and glutes, fingers pointing down, keeping your ribs pulled in, your baby pulled in, giving your baby a hug. Let's open up through our chest and then gently look up, just tilting back as far as it feels good and safe for you. Taking a big breath in. Exhale out, good. Exhale, gathering your core, pulling yourself back up again. Let's move in to another child's pose here, stretching the opposite direction. One more breath here. And then walking the hands back in. We can come back to our knees. We're going to take a kneeling lunge, taking one foot forward. If your knees bother you, you can fold up your mat or use your blanket. Let's shift our hips forward, tuck our tailbone under. Finding length in your spine here. You can stay tall here, or if it feels good, you can bring your hands to the inside of your foot. Stretching here. your hands are down on the ground, you can activate your core, moving back up, shifting your weight back, Let's switch to the other side. Rolling your shoulders down your back, activating your core. If you want to shift to the ground, you can. Releasing through your hips a little bit more, letting your pelvic floor relax. Slow and steady breath. Exhale, press into your front foot. Come on up, shifting your weight back. So we can either move in to pigeon pose here or we can do a figure four seated on the ground. If you're sitting on the ground, sit tall, simply cross one leg over, stretching out through your piriformis. It's great for preventing sciatica.
releasing this side we can shift to the other side if you're doing pigeon you can move through downward dog keeping your top foot flexed you can also put light pressure on your knee if that feels good slowly releasing down moving to a wide legged forward fold we can extend our legs flex our front feet if you wanted to sit on a pillow or a block you can also if you have a block and you want to put a little bit of pressure between your eyebrows here we can activate our parasympathetic nervous system you can stack a couple of blocks or you can also stack your fists we'll release forward let's take a couple of deep breaths here breathing into your back and side ribs exhale sigh out again now we can relax our legs relax our feet just relax here coming up let's take one more stretch to each side let's find a comfortable seated position we're gonna do some left nostril breathing which again is going to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. So I'm gonna mirror you, and but you're gonna block your right nostril. And then we're gonna breathe in for four and out for four, 10 times. You can close your eyes here. You could also do this laying down if it's more comfortable. Breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. breath release from here we're going to move into shavasana so for pregnancy we're going to be on our left hand side or alternatively you can do legs up the wall you could also hop in your bed to do this if you're all ready for bed so if you're on your side you may want to grab pillows or a bolster you can straighten your bottom leg release down making sure that both your knee and anchor ankle are elevated to prevent hip pain you can find a pillow or rest your head right here so you can start relaxing if you're going legs up the wall then you can use your bolster a block or a pillow to elevate your hips so that it is safe so you're not laying flat on your back so i like to scoot up to the wall or it could be your headboard if you're on your bed and then you can shift the pillow or bolster underneath and place your feet up the wall this is great for the end of the day if you're having leg and feet aches and pain roll your shoulders down your back 
palms up. We'll take a couple of big breaths in and sigh out. You can also cover yourself up with a blanket. You can take your hands to your baby, connect with your baby, and fully relax. Relax your face, your scalp. Let your teeth and jaw separate. Relax your tongue, your shoulders, your belly. Relax your pelvic floor, your legs, your toes, your feet, your hands. Just watching your breath. Feel free to keep resting here, or you can finish up with me. If your legs are up the wall, you can walk them down, bring your knees to either side, and give them a little bit of a squeeze before we roll over onto our side. And then if you're on your side, we can now come up to a comfortable seated position. Namaste to you. Namaste to the babies. I'll read the pregnancy yoga card for the day. I believe in myself and my abilities as a mother. I am the perfect mother for my baby. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did amazing. I hope that you're feeling good and relaxed after that class. I will keep making pregnancy, yoga, Pilates, and workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell and share this out with your pregnant mama friends and a pregnancy community that you think would enjoy it. I will also share my free pregnancy resources in the description box below. I have an ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, printable affirmations card, and a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian. I will also link to the whole pregnancy, yoga, and workout playlist. You can save the playlist, go through it, and come back to the different workouts whenever you like, and my natural birth preparation playlist.